Hey everybody, it's Shankblocks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some simple um, headphones for like a UGC item or, so or something. And um, I'm going to be using the, bl the Blender version 2.9.1. Um, to download this, you can just go over to blender.org. It should take you here, and what you want to do is go hit download, and you should be able to be, you should be able to download the latest version. Uh, my version is a bit older, but yeah, so that's how you download the latest version. Now, um, so what you want to first do is delete. Delete your scene, so delete your camera, your cube, and your light. So just take them, hit X, and delete these. Now hit Shift A, Shift A, and put in a cylinder. Okay. Um, but what you first want to do before you put in anything in Blender, you want to first open up Roblox Studio. And what you want to do is you want to get a just a model rig for a reference to see that you're doing the right size and everything. So, to do that, go inside of Roblox Studio, go to plugins, and actually, wait. Don't go to plugins. Go to yeah, go to plugins. Um, hit build rig and hit just just choose just choose R15 and hit block rig. And that's gonna bring up this. Um, now to bring this into Blender, you wanna um, right cl click it in the explorer tab and hit export selection. And then just save this somewhere, and I'm just gonna name it um, Dummy, I guess. Save. Then you wanna go back into Blender, and you wanna hit File, Import, Wavefront.obj. Um, go to where you saved it, and Click the one that says the name and then .obj import. Then it should be somewhere around here. Um, deselected by double pressing A, select it, go to object, set origin, um, and then hit the top one. So now you have it here. So hit. Um, numpad 0 on your number pad hit G, Z and just place it right on the red line right there, right on the X axis okay so now what you want to do is to start making your headphones, so hit shift A cylinder hit 1 on your number pad, hit G to move it around um, hit R Y then 90 Rotate it to rotate it 90 degrees on the Y axis. Hit S to scale. And hit G to move. Then hit hit S X to scale on the X axis and scale it to whatever you like. I'm just gonna go around there. Hit S to scale it down a little bit. Hit G X to move it on the X axis and just place it on the um, model's eel. So I guess right about there would be good. So now what you want to do is want to hit number pad one, shift A, and bring in a cube. Hit G to move up to the headphone piece, S to scale, and then hit S, X 
to scale it on the x-axis and just scale it about right there we find and hit GX R to rotate it and just move it around if you have to um, hit numpad 3 and you can hit S Y to scale on the Y axis I'm just gonna leave mine to about there now what you want to do is deselect everything by double hitting A select the cube that you just made um, hit tab for edit mode or go up here and hit edit mode then select the face select select this top face hit numpad 1 then hit E to extrude um, R to rotate G to move maybe rotate a little bit more and E to extrude again R to rotate G to move E to extrude about there or maybe a bit more right there R to line up so R to rotate so you can make it nice and straight I'm going to make this as nice and straight as I can oh, let's try there E to extrude all the way down all the way down to about there I don't think that's quite straight enough um, uh oh and if you want to undo something you can either go to um, you can either press Control Z or I think it's right here somewhere. Yeah, ju just press Control Z to undo something. And make that nice and straight. Um, yeah, E to extrude all the way. I still don't think that's straight enough. No, it's not. Okay. I think that'll do fine for now. Yeah, anyway, E to extrude and just move it all the way to this blue line which is the z-axis and you can just make sure that it's nice and lined up about there. Now what you want to do is go into object mode by pressing tab or go up here and do object mode then select these two pieces but before you do anything else I'm just gonna duplicate this by pressing shift D and then right clicking to move it back to where it is and then hitting G yeah, G X and S the scale maybe about there then G and X to move it right there maybe scale a little bit more okay so now select these two things here um, if you want to, you can group group them, which I'm going to do. So hit, so select all of them by pressing hold down shift and left click cl clicking, and do control J to join. And now it's one piece. So hit shift D, um, numpad one, and hit G X R Z one eighty. Then hit G and X to move it right there. Then just line it up with this one right here. Maybe even a little about there. Then what you want to do is take these two. Oh boy, hang on. Got a little bit of a mess up here. Oh boy. Okay. Hang on. So 
So we'll then select these two pieces, hit Control J to join them together. And there you go, you got some nice headphones. Um, yeah, you can customize them if you want, you can give them some colors. Um, I'm just going to leave them white for now, but if you guys want to give them colors, I would have happily show you. So just hit, um, go over here and go down to the material pro properties, hit new, then, um, go and select base color and choose the color you want. Um, I'm just going to do white for the main color. Um, you, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to choose white. Then you want to just select all these faces. You can hold hold down shift and left click them or you can hit C so you can like drag along and select them. Um, to, get, to get rid of this circle so thing around the cursor, just hit C again. Actually no, just um, right click so it goes away. Hit C to make it come and yeah. So just select, uh, I'm just going to select these faces on both sides. Then um, once you have your thing selected, selected if you wanted to do, to do that just go uh, over here to the materials tab hit the plus button hit new and hit assign then choose your color I'm just gonna go for like a like a bright orange or something and then hit tab to get out of edit mode into object mode and there you go um, if you follow along correctly, you have created your own pair of simple headphones. Um, you can make them shade smooth if you want, so they're nice and smooth. And you and to make it so that it fits, it fix like kind of fix some of this stuff up here. It doesn't look right. Just go to the modifiers tab, add modifier, add modifier, and do edge split. And now it's not all bumpy and weird. Apply. So if it was what if it was shade flat, it will look like that with all these like weird bumps. But if it's shade smooth, it's gonna look perfect and smooth. Um, if you don't want it to have all these like, if you don't want it to be all edgy, then you can go over to the modifiers tab, add modifier, and select the subdivision surface I think no not that um I think it's solidify okay hang on I'm just um oh no it's bevel select the bevel um one make sure it's on edges and Okay, there's another way of doing this, so just hit tab for edit mode, select everything by just hitting A, or, yeah, by just hitting A, then do control B to bevel, and you can make this so that it looks nice and smooth, hopefully. Mm. Let me go back. That real quick. Okay. Um, let me go into edge select. Just like this. Control B. Okay. Well, there is a way to make it so it doesn't look all edgy, but this is all I'm going to do for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys want me to do a video on how to bring this into Roblox Studio with the texture, then please let me know. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. And don't forget to, to subscribe. Um, 
and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.